So I'm currently trying to recover files because I filmed on Sunday. I completely forgot that I did it. I usually wake up, I format my cards, and then I go on about my day. I formatted the card and literally as it's formatting, I was like, fuck, covering it with this app. It usually works. We'll see, it's still scanning, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I'm spending the morning cleaning my apartment because it's a complete disaster. And then it's kind of mellow, like today is just drawing. The happy cry drop was yesterday. We actually did two drops. There was one at 3 a.m. Yo, I'm busy. Can you wait a second? Just a second. Thanks. Um, we did two drops, one at 3 a.m., which is 10 a.m. in London, and one at uh, 10 a.m. here, at Mountain Time here. So uh, both drops, I believe, are sold out. Everything's gone. Happy Cry is just like flying. As are amazing. Uh, thanks for all the pot. Dude! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with this. Go on. Oops. Anyway, uh, <laughs> shout out to everybody for the positive feedback on uh, Friday's video about the brand switching and craziness and life, whatever, whatever. Um, positive feedback was really appreciated. I didn't really expect it. I kind of expected people to talk shit to me. So, uh, cool. Glad you didn't. Glad to not know everything. All right, um, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna start cleaning and take this crazy dog for a walk. He's wildin'. All right, be back. Huh. Hey. Huh. What's this? It's a napkin. Oh, okay. Yep, that was uneventful, huh? Oh, look at you in a sea of shoes. Shoe sale is going to be happening soon. I gotta make some more room. We're still recovering files, we're trying to. I recovered the first batch and it was just a bunch of so that didn't work, and um, today's vlog has turned into uh, the frustrations of vlogging. So I uh, cannot recover this shit right now. Absolutely not. Um, it's not working. I don't know what's up. Ern's gonna bring his computer over and see if his program we can do it. I'm pretty sure we have the same program. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much at a stopping point here. I don't really know what to do. So I'm gonna stop. Dirty Ern has recovered the footage. Yeah, it does. You gotta airdrop it to me now. That's what I do. Yeah, or you don't have a little jump drive. It's a little quicker. A jump drive is quicker than airdrop? I think so. You're out of your fucking mind. Then through the internet? Through the internet? And, huh? You could have a race. What, the time it's gonna take for you to drag it, unload it, load it, and then drag it off? I guess there's double time there. All right, well, it's not ready yet. Okay. I know that they're recoverable. Right. And on a Sunday. Well, sort of. You just oh. finished the drop. So I have a box for you. Oh, nice. But there's a stipulation. Oh, no. Everything inside that box that's not a pair of shoes is mine. Deal? Okay. All right. What, what else? So apparently, from the, I'm gonna explain something to you. I thought that you were getting a different pair of shoes, but now I know what the shoe is. My pair is on the way, but that shoe, there's only 250. That sticker on the top of the box says one of 250. So that purple, or you'll see, but oh, shit. Yeah. Well, it's got all this cool shit. I don't know if that's the way they came at the event or what. Shit. So I gotta cut this open if I don't wanna break the. Well, there's old metal tabs you can pull it if you turn it over. Oh. You can just like undo those. No, they're not undoable. This is great. My first BBW. Um, B by W. Definitely not your first BBW. <laughs> yeah, look. Freddy the Foot. Whoa. Oh, dude, dope. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, dog. Yeah. It's fucking dope. With all this other shit in here? <laughs> what is what is the other shit? <laughs> I don't know, I just saw an unboxing. Oh. Like, there's all kinds of cool shit. I was like, you're not getting that. That shit's going on the shelf. There's a Polaroid. Of the actual shoe? Polaroid, though. Damn the Polaroid. Yeah, look. The dirt on the back. They must have worn it for the pick. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, the Polaroid of your shoe. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that comes in it. The orange on the back. I don't remember seeing that when I saw these at the event. I want to see what you think. Yeah. God, this prize. You must just throw them away. Oh, no, because then I'll be another away from the collection. So I'm holding yeah. it on. All right. Watch it. Come on. Ciao. Oh, me. Oh. They fit? Yeah. They're different. 
like the big tongue. Nice. Got to walk in them. Whoa. I like them. My, my heel kind of lifts up a little. Yeah, but I don't... We well, haven't tied them. Yeah. Anything. It's not tied around the top either. You can tie it around that other loop. Yeah, but I like this. Nice. I don't even care if my heel does. They're comfortable. Yeah, they look good. Brady's going to hate them. No, of course she is. That's okay. That's to be expected. Um, yeah, I have a pair on the way. I was bummed at first and I was like, there's a 250. How's this shit, dog? Nice. Yeah, but I got number one. Yeah, possibly. It might be number one. Yeah. It says. So it might just be one of 250. Like, there's oh, only 250. Oh, guess, to, you know, in an effort to print one sticker. Yeah, instead of. Yeah. I got one. Um, let's see what these patches are on. Got a Freddy the Foot sticker. Boost you wear barcode patch. Very similar to something that uh, has come out recently. I don't know. Oh, artificial intelligence. I'm not sure. We have the Boost You Wear patch. We have the Freddy the Foot air freshener, which is dumb fire. We have the neck face ripoff crazy BYW sticker. <laughs> we have a nice drift oil sticker. These are so different feeling. I know, right? They're crazy. <laughs> yeah, they are crazy. I like them. Crazy em. BYW. Boop. Track. In transit. Oh, there you go. Dude, it's not gonna get there until the seventh. What the fuck? Look at the tracking. Ooh, you about to get it. Fuck. No, my my thing was on time. Something happened in transit. Drop it to the worst place in the world, and it's not shipped. You lost the shoes. Worst reseller on StockX. No. Next blog title: How <laughs> I got banned from StockX in one transaction. No, hold on. <laughs> I'm up to date. There's no warnings on here. There's no red flags. Our raw paper is thought it's like some bootleg paper I had somewhere because I don't have any papers. It's so fucking windy, dude. Mm -hmm. I ran this morning and it, the wind was so strong in my face I couldn't breathe at one point. Yeah, dude, this is impossible. Literally got a half mile in and I had to turn my back to the wind, catch my breath. I'm like, I've never felt the wind was blowing so strong in my face that you literally couldn't take my breath breathe. away. <laughs> it really did. I said this. Slow mo out in the like, middle. Yeah. People are running by. You like, we're gonna have me my first run in Colorado. <sighs> yeah, it's cold. No wonder homeboy down the hall smoking. <laughs> then I, I know you think night skiing is crazy. I'm not going night skiing. Hear me out. So why would it be night? Why wouldn't we just get up and go early? Oh, go early, and then we'll what? Well, we'd already have the place and just drop Omar off. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I oh, it's the Omar. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's not the same. Same as the day you check out. When we check out, we're gonna have to leave with Omar. We unless they're cool wherever we're staying, and we can like leave Omar. Are there until oh, Omar needs a fucking handler. I don't know if you want an Omar handler job. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm not paying anybody to handle Omar. Yeah, just... Unless you're fucking Asian hot. I'm just kidding. You don't have to be Asian. <coughs> Does Brad Hall go to sneaker cons? Who I've is never it? Seen him in one, but you definitely know who he is. No, I don't know. Sorry, Brad. Brad Hall. Sorry, Brad. throw a shade at you, my boy. Brad Hall don't got these on feet. What's up, Brad? Let's see it. I'm called out. <laughs> that dirty air, I'm gonna show you when we get to the apartment. You're gonna see it. Damn, shots fired. 11. No. Brett Hall versus Dirty Earn Celebrity Boxing Match. Yeah, they also <laughs> want me to go up against JC's boy. I get that a lot. Wow, you and you and <laughs> you and C's. Better, like I always, I get compared to him a lot. A better manager. I guess sir. You're I'm not an assistant. You're a manager. No, I've been promoted. Um, I think the roles are different. You know what I mean? I don't think that C's helps <laughs> JC the way that you help me. Is what I'm saying. That's Shots true. fired, C's. Sorry. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. We just got your fire, son. Omar. My name is Brad Hall. Oh Welcome God. to my channel. You ever seen this? No. <laughs> Welcome back to How Comfortable Is This Shoe? It's kind of funny, but it's phony. There's no way he's like this. This one's a classic. It's like I wonder if he dresses normal. Thankfully, I have yeah, a pair of them. He's just fucking kidding. But yeah, there's Brad Hall. Nice. So. I don't know what I think. I like him, I guess. Right. Let's do your review. Um. Okay. Hey, you? All right, Omar, watch out. I gotta shoot a review. Oh, great. Right? Um, there he is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there you are. There you go. Now you can flail about. All, All right. right, so. Adidas 
Test roll, dirtier, take one. Hey guys, I'm here with Boost You Wear and a very special edition of them at that. Hold on one second, I gotta get my box because that's where it gets special. I got you, man. All right. Nice. So, in this box, here it is. Proof, 250 pairs sent to me from Fet Freddy the Foot at Yahoo. If you don't know who Freddy the Foot is, we'll fucking email him at freddythefoot at yahoo.com, but he's this guy at the bottom. I'm not gonna bring it closer. It's gonna, it's gonna be too much. I'll bring it closer. I'll hit you with the zoom, dog. I'm cameraman. Oh, yeah. There he is. There's Freddy. See him on the purplish blue? Is it purple or blue? You're gonna get into it, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get into it because nobody's really sure yet. So, Freddy's on the front. Um, the throwback thing, Teddy's talked about it. If you don't watch the vlog, fuck you. So, no, but other vlogs, if they uh, followed, they like would know. If this is their first vlog, fuck you. If this is your first <laughs> vlog, fuck you. No, welcome. But if you're a regular viewer and you've missed some, well, it's your loss. You're gonna have to email Freddie the Foot at Yahoo. Tell him Dirty Earn or and Teddy sent you. Watch or watch the previous video. I'm not gonna link you to it because that's too much work for us. You need to put in a little work. Become a subscriber. Press that fucking button. Let's go. We don't go. ask people to subscribe. Oh, we don't ask people to subscribe. We're not asking. I'm fucking telling you. So let's get to the shoes. Boost you wear. This is a this colorway is one in two fifty as of right now. They were only available at the uh, seven forty seven warehouse in L A. Can I say who got you this pair? No. This pair. <laughs> Teddy got for me. I can't tell you from where. But they're my size. He has a pair coming, but I got them first, so I'm gonna do the review today. So here's the box. It says Boost You Wear. It's crossed out Feet You Wear. Um, that was a campaign from 96 that Adidas did. It's not really a campaign, it's more of a technology. More of a technology, yeah. not a campaign. But it's actually a licensed technology. A licensed technology. That they lost the license for in like 2001. You heard them. They lost the license 2001. What? All right. So, upon first getting these, this is my first pair of these, and they're definitely different from any Ultra Boost NMD or even EQT that I've worn before. A little more basketball looking to me, and which really I never really wore bigger shoes like this, um, but. What did you wear back in the day? Back in the day, I would wear Air Maxes. Air Force Ones would be the bulkiest shoes that I would wear. Back so, kindergarten Air Force no. Ones? No, like all through high school, even college. Where I just what about middle school? I had some Jordan. I never, I basically wore whatever was hype, but I, I couldn't afford the hype model, so I'd get, you know, whatever was left. Okay. So, like Damn. if Jordans were cool, I'd get something similar. If some <laughs> hot Air Max came out, I'd if get Jordans, the other If Jordans were cool, so I got. I had Reebok, Reebok. pumps. <laughs> Uh, I did have Reebok pumps. Okay, fair. When I got these and I put them on, which you'll see earlier in this vlog, I don't know, they felt a little different. I think because there's more support here and um, also if you don't tie them, your your shoe, um, your, your foot comes out of the heel. I don't even want to say support because it's thin. It's not like really support here, but it is. Even with that thinness, the PK, I think it's, I don't even know what it is. So we'll get to the materials in a minute. But this it feels good. It gives your leg a little sun to rest on. It's not too hard. It's comfortable. It's crazy. Maybe that's why they call it that. Is it numbered the insole? It see, no. No. It says 9818. It says 01.1500. Could that be 250 that are shipped? There's 1500. I feel like I have number one of all of them. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I just have this feeling. I'm not kidding. Yeah, well, think, the 1500 doesn't make sense either though. I gotta, we're gonna have to see your pair to find out. But, so when I first tried them on, and they're called Boost You Wear, so I was like, fuck it, today I'm gonna actually wear the shoe before I review it so that I can talk about it a little. So I wore it all day, I ran around to the print shop, I felt comfortable, felt comfortable driving in. Almost a little warmer than the Ultra Boost, I think. Like, you know, not mm. as airy. It's nice on a windy day so like not today. As as a... Not as breathable. But I don't think necessarily in a bad way. It's still not like some leather. Now inside though, underneath, you see how these patterns change? Under here, it feels like one thing. So I feel like underneath this and underneath that is just something here. It's until... a seamless construction. Yeah. Nothing's cool, nothing's like 
Yeah, it feels Nothing's seamless. Nothing's glued together or whatever. Until the tongue. The tongue's held in. Just right here at the bottom. The rest of it. stitched to the upper. Yeah, down here. Yeah. The tongue stitched in here and the rest of it just flops around. Like most tongues. Yeah, well, not it's also a life hack tying a shoe if you want. You can move this to the back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at that. Yeah. Tie it, move it to the back. That's hotter than you can see the Adidas a little bit better. I like that. Um, also, what's cool, this is the first boost to come out with half black, half white boost, right? <laughs> I, would, I think so, actually. It's a good observation. I, yeah, this is it. This is the beginning. The so, quality. It's kind of cool that they're doing that. Who knows? Maybe they'll do fucking blue and pink. Why are you orange so out of frame? And, orange and... Why are you so out of frame? Am I still? Scoot back. What, you can't oh, see yourself? Frame. Out of frame. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> okay, let's talk again. Orange and green, blue and pink. <laughs> yeah, so you're looking forward to multicolor. Yes. Yeah, so Oh shit. Six, nine boost. Oh shit. Did I tell you that the Drake thing's pretty much official? Like With that. Adidas? Yeah, it's gonna happen. No. They just gotta wait for Jordan to finish. Oh, God. <laughs> Jordan. I need Jordan Duncan behind me at that point. Okay, no problem. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and this is different. You know, it's got like this hard shell in the middle, just a space. The foot's kind of elevated there with these two blocks. Sometimes when you move around, you can feel them. They're very comfortable. They're super fucking comfortable. I don't know what this material is. This feels prime knit. This feels neoprene -ish? They're all just, I think, different kind of knit. Yeah, that toe feels a little more neoprene. I don't know. And then, but this. See, this is the kind of technology that until you work hand in hand with Ben Harath, you don't know. But just this simple Harith. little Harith. Harith? <laughs> yeah. Ben Harith. Anyway, <laughs> until you work with him, you don't notice that some of this stuff that just seems like design, this probably also reinforces a little bit on the side there, you know. Definitely. In the shape. Definitely keeping your foot from flopping over for sure. Yeah. You can keep going. I don't know. Can you keep going? This is it. Is that your I got them. Can you cop them? Let's see. There's only 250. You think? I'm going to put these on StockX. <laughs> oh. Yeah, where's my payout? Oh, and here's the other thing. Where's my StockX payout? <laughs> We're waiting. Remember? Yeah. Like but wait, here's the other thing about these. None of them are dead stock. Of all the 250, oh, there's a Polaroid that comes with it. Somebody takes a picture just to be like, fuck you, I own dead sock shoes before you. And then they put the Polaroid in the box. These are boosts you wear, not resell, see? So they, they end, you can't resell because they've already un would them and there's proof of it in the box. So you get that, you get stickers, you get some other shit. But uh, what's really important is you get this shoe. You get to wear it. You get one and two fifty. You get the flex. But we don't know that there's only two fifty. I'm pretending to flex it until I know. <laughs> we're still, we're still not sure. Yeah, I like this tie in the back though. Um, I guess that's it, guys. That's the review. If you have any questions, you can uh, DM me over at Dirty Earn One Two at Twitter. Fuck <laughs> yourself. Start watching more vlogs.